Next thing that we're going to cover is going to be box model in CSS. And since this is a very important topic and there's going to be a lot of things to cover, and I, I don't want to split it in a few videos. This is going to be a, actually a longer video. So just bear with me and we're going to go step by step and I'm going to try to explain as much as I can everything in detail, right? So first things first, right? Let's, let's get rid of these paragraphs just so you understand that it works with everything, right? So everything in CSS is actually a box, right? That's why it's called a box model. So over here I'm going to place something in a heading one over here like this. You know what? Maybe two sentences is more than uh, enough, right? So let's do with one. And over here we're going to have a paragraph, right? So I'm going to say paragraph over here. I'm going to say lorem, right? Just so you understand that it works the same with a paragraph, the same it would work actually with a image or a span or anything like that, right? So we can even have over here a link, right? And it would work the same way. It's just going to be a little bit different because it's an inline element, right? So again, we're going to talk about those actually in the next video, right? But just so you understand right now, we're going to see that it works the same way, right? So over here, I'm going to go to heading one. And first things first, I'm going to set our favorite background color property, right? So I'm going to say background color. And let's say we're going to start with the most basic one. I'm going to say red, right? So over here you can see already right away something happens, right? You can see that the whole heading gets covered, right? All the way from one edge to the other one, right? And what's happening is that every element is actually styled like a box. So if I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say paragraph, right? And I'm going to say background color. And I'm going to say, let's say, uh, blue, right? Over here, we're going to say blue. Now you can see that this paragraph also gets styled, right? Also from one end to another one, right? So we're getting like a box look. Now the third one, we're going to go with the link. And I'm going to say that the background color is going to be, and I'm going to say over here green, right? So you can see again, something interesting happens, right? So you can see that all of them are actually looking like boxes right now, right? And once we put a background color, it's actually much easier to see. And the first thing that I want to cover in the box model is actually something called padding. And the padding is going to be distance over here. In between, you can see where's the text, right? And over here, you can see where's the edge, right? So if I'm going to go over here, and if I'm going to say, let's say for the heading one, right? I'm going to say padding, and you can see that I have options, right? I have padding top, right, left, and bottom, right? So I'm going to show you a shortcut in just like 30 seconds, right? But over here, we're going to start with padding top. And over here, I'm going to say something like 10 pixels, right? And you can see what happens, right? And in the brackets, it even shows over here where we're getting this padding, right? So this is going to be the distance, right, in between the content over here and the outer edge over here, right? And at the outer edge over here, the top outer edge, right? But if we would write over here bottom, right, if we would change it, right, now this would be the bottom, right? So over here, you can see that it stayed like the way it was, right? And over here in the bottom, we actually changed it. And like I said, there was actually, there is actually shortcuts. And when we write padding over here, let's say 10 pixels, actually what you can see what happens is that we're applying evenly padding all around, right? So here if we write just padding without top, bottom, um, whatever left, right? It applies to all of them, right? However, if we would write two properties, right? So if we would write over here 10 pixels, and then let's say over here I'm going to say 20 pixels over here like this, you can see what happens then. 10 pixels refers to the top one and the bottom one, and the 20 pixels actually left and right side, right? So it starts with the first value, top and bottom, and then left and right is going to be 20. Now, if I'm going to write four properties, right? So let's say over here, I'm going to say this is going to be 8 pixels. Then I'm going to say this is going to be 20 pixels. And the last one, I'm going to say this is going to be 30 pixels, right? So already you can see what's happening, right? We're starting with the top. This is going to be 10. Then we're going to 8 which is going to be the right-hand side over here, right? So we're going clockwise. Then we have 20, which is in the bottom, and the left side is 30, right? So in some cases, if you want actually more customized, the way the padding works, right, you can do it this way, right? In most cases, what you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing something like this, right? You're going to say, I want 10 pixels over here, top, bottom, and I want, let's say, 30 pixels like this, right? Not that you're going to be adding 30 pixels and 10, but what I'm saying is you're going to be most likely using top and bottom one and left and right one, right? So now that we understand the padding, let's go ahead and actually apply it to all of them, right? So 
I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to copy this one, right? And we already know the shortcut, right? So we're going to use this one, right? So you can see again, it works the same way over here. And you know what? Let's do over here. Let's add a text color, which is already we learned, right? So color. And we're going to say this is going to be something like white, right? Just so it's easier for us to see. And over here, like I said, we're going to use a the same padding. So I'm going to say 10 padding over here. And I'm going to do 30 pixels, right? And let's remember what we learned about links. We also can say a color, right? So I'm going to say color. And in this case, I don't know, I'm going to use red, right? And I'm going to say text decoration. And I'm going to say none over here. And then we're going to do a font size, right? Just so we could make a little bit font bigger. So I'm going to say something like 25 pixels, right? So now we're here, our fonts got bigger. Now that we have covered padding, let's look at the margin property. So over here, what you can see, what happens is if I click over here in the brackets, right? If I click on this uh, declaration, right? Over here, you can see that it lights up over here blue, right? And it's interesting, right? Because technically we were just working with the padding. So why this one we actually would be affected, right? Because it is actually still an element, right? So over here, if I go on the top, right? And I'm going to say this is going to be a margin, right? We're going to use a margin property. And I'm going to say margin bottom. And over here, I'm going to say zero or here zero, right? So we'll leave it like the way it is, right? And if we go here on the bottom, and I just want to show you because that's going to make way more sense what I'm doing right now. Margin top, zero, right? And remember, this is going to be for a paragraph, right? You can see what happens. There is no light blue, and there's actually nothing in between them, right? They only have this padding, whatever we set the padding for, right? And padding was 10 pixels but the elements are actually one on top of each other, right? Because the margin property is actually responsible of how much distance there is in between them, right? So if I go back over here, and if I add actually margin bottom for the paragraph, where's margin bottom zero, right? Again, you can see that right away link jumped up, right? Now, the reason the link actually forced itself in here, because again, this is an inline element, and we're going to be covering this in the next video. So for now, what you need to worry about, though, is that the margin controls what is the distance in between them, right? So here, if I'm going to say margin, right? And again, we can use the shortcut. And I'm going to say that this is going to be margin for the heading one. I'm going to say margin, let's say top bottom is going to be 20 over here. And again, if we write just 20, you can see what happens, right? We got 20 pixels right away all around us, right? Over here. And then I'm going to say that this is, let's say, going to be uh, 40 pixels over here, left and right, right? And then over here, we're going to use the same thing over here for a paragraph. So I'm going to copy this guy and we're going to get rid of these ones over here. And we're going to copy and paste this, right? Now let's change this. Let's let's make this one to 60, right? To 60 over here, not 600, actually 60, right? And let's make this one 30, right? And obviously you can see that right now we're getting right away a bigger gap, right? Because we have a margin that it's top bottom 30. And over here, this is 60. And over here, we can do the same thing. So we're going to copy this one over here and let's do the margin right so let's copy and paste this and again margin is going to work the same over here for this link right now let's look at a border that's going to be our third one in our box model right so here what we're going to do is we're going to say that this is going to have a border and we're going to say this is going to be again we can use a all of them right we can have a more border bottom color Bottom left radius, bottom bottom style, bottom bottom width, border collapse, right? We're going to start with a shortcut, right? And we're just going to go right away. We're going to say this is going to be a width of the border. Then we're going to say this is going to be the so uh, style, which is going to be solid over here. And then we're going to say that this is what kind of color it would be, right? So over here, I'm just going to say that this is going to be, let's say, white, right? Over here like this. And now it's hard to see because we're actually working over here, right? So let's say that, oh, I mean, I made it white, so obviously we cannot see. Or here, let's go with black, right? So now you can see the border is appearing. So let's make it 10 pixels, right? Now you can see this is going to be our border. And when we're talking about box model, what we mean by that is we have the padding, right? We have the margin that's going to be in between the elements, and we have the actual border. And the thing is, each and every element, we can work with these properties, right? And what we do is obviously for our styling, in order to have something appear in a certain way, this is where we're using the, the box model. 
Now we don't need to every time use all three properties and actually work with that. But the point is working with these properties actually allows us to style everything like box wise over here.